this place we'll have um, a care manager will be seated at our reception area um, and at that point they will come in and fill out some intake forms. We'll find out from them uh, what their needs are, if they're experiencing crisis at that time, or if they are having any anxiety and they need to be separated from anybody that may be sitting in the lobby. They can come into uh, what we're currently calling our quiet room. Uh, it's just an opportunity for people that may be uh, experiencing crisis or anxiety to uh, have a calm atmosphere uh, and be separated while they get, can gather themselves. We can have a care manager go in and assess them at that time. Uh, once they come to this place and they fill out their intake forms uh, and we identify what their needs are, uh, we will then either put them with an available care manager in assessment room or if they need to be assessed by a licensed clinician, then an available one will take them into an assessment room there. Um, and then in this area, we're going to be holding community, it's like a community classroom for community classes. NAMI, Good Grief, will be here, um, as well as our own clinicians will be holding uh, their own classes in here. Hi, I am Susan Power from NAMI, Shasta County. NAMI is the National Alliance on Mental Illness, and today we are at the new care center, the Hill Country Care Center, where our office is going to be. So... Susan, what does it mean to you to have a family component in this care center? I think it is essential that when somebody has a mental illness, it's going to impact their family and friends. So the more the family is involved, the better the chances for full recovery. And recovery is absolutely possible. Um, there's so many people living with a mental illness who are in recovery. And that's the goal, is to get people to that point. And having a supportive, knowledgeable family is, is a key piece.